So he's oh my god, it's him, it's him, it's him, it's him. <gasps> that was him. He like sped off, that was him. Hello, my little faithful, uncheated, mentally well children of the internet. Basically, I can't go back to Dubai. I'm trapped. I have a Canadian visa. I'm like, I'll go to Canada. I'm trapped. I can't go to Canada. I can't go to India either. Fully um, trapped because it's a it's an interview and I have to give that interview in America. So can't leave. Oh my god, my lips are so crusty. So ugly. I'm gonna put this gloss. Oh, just been like a day of not eating. Oh my god, this is one of those like stinging bombs. <gasps> my mouth is on fire. I'm getting ready to confront. My boyfriend. It sucks. This is so fucking disgusting and sad. You know, I wanted to film this because I'm, you know, I've dealt with such like crazy things and boys and stuff when I was a teenager. I've dealt with crazy relationships. And one of my biggest regrets in life was just never documenting how I feel or journaling it, like writing down my thoughts or like, you know, whatever. I dated when I was 18. I've dated when I was 15, 16, never as an adult. Like I've never dated in my 20s ever. And I gave love a shot. And you know what? It didn't go well. So I wanted to come here and just vlog this because uh, I'm gonna see this 10 years from now and laugh. I'm gonna see this five a month from now and just laugh at this so I'm also a play gal if you will. Did I ever tell you guys how I got hit by Playboy to like they wanted me on Playboy the site and I'm like ma'am what? So that's another story another time. I'll check out my podcast. But anyway, <gasps> I'm actually getting ready right now to confront my cheating lying ass boyfriend. We had a very fun relationship, always fun and games until the three, four month mark and try to make it work. I'm actually somebody, I really just stonewall, I'm avoiding. And this was horrible. I caught him on a dating app twice. 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 I was staying with him. I wasn't living with him and I moved out after that. I was just like, fool me once, punch me in the face. Fool me twice, also punch me. Fuck. Punch me every single time, please. I'm never getting in a relationship. No, I'm just kidding. It's my first heartbreak on the internet. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I need to like film this and journal it and laugh about it later. But yeah, I'm pretty much trapped in America. So I have to stay here till I give my interview, which is literally gonna be six months from now for sure. So I'm so upset. This is the mark. This is the time where I get fully like FOMO from, I miss my parents. I wanna see them. I miss everybody. But I'm literally trapped. My lawyer is like, do not leave the country. You will, you will not come back. You will not be able to come back. And I have my little puppy here, so I can't leave her behind. But it is one of those things where I'm just like trapped. So it's like, you know what? I have the internet. I, I love the internet and I'm just gonna come here and just blab and talk shit. There was a lot of things I discovered later on in the future. So, oh my thoughts all over the place. But I had to do this for myself. It's like some sort of like closure for me that I know if I put this on the internet. So we started speaking yesterday. It was cute or whatever. We were like talking, bonding, apologizing, and you know, all fun and games. I still knew. I still knew men will be men. I don't think I was ever sober. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I was never sober in that relationship until I come home. I'm sober as hell and I'm like, I'm so happy here. My puppy is happy here and thriving. Like I'm so happy. I'm like, look at me, I look so pretty and like nice. There's something called boyfriend air. You hang out with the boy for so long and then you become I'm dirty you look nasty like it, it shows the, the relationship reflects on the woman like I dress poorly I I still do we get it looked terrible I hated wearing my braces I hated waking up next to him it was horrible like that should have been my first sign like ladies like honestly here like feel hear what your body's saying because my body was yelling and I was just like no no give it time I was in that phase of like living in the moment and like being present but I did want to give a chances just like every other woman in relationships I gave a chances I do DPT it has kept me very calm regulated and very mindful full of things and thoughts which I love right like that's amazing I'm like so ha like normal in my brain right now I'm just so glad though I caught myself slipping being mistreated being mentally abused and I was also mentally abusing him it was like both ways you know what I'm saying it was traumatizing being in this relationship and I needed to get the and I did. I wish it was a Disney movie. It's not. It's like, wow, this is what it's like being doing therapy and just being kind. God. The minute I was nice, he made a Hinge profile, a new one, and he matched with an account named Diana. Guess who's Diana? I have my Hinge app on my iPad and I'm texting him on my phone and right now as you just saw I was texting him he texted both of us he's telling Diana let's go get wine at 8 p.m. I'm gonna put the messages in and you know I'm not a liar to start the show you have to see the time and date June 14th don't forget this 
I wanted to ask, are we still a thing? And he responds with, I'm not planning on letting anyone in my life. I haven't lost my feelings for you. Yada, yada. Just read in your own time. But he ends it with, I hope you are operating similarly and not letting anyone else in. This is crucial because a true narcissist will actually tell you by themselves what they are up to. But he does say, short answer, yes. So we got the confirmation. We are together June 14th. And then I say, I'm doing therapy. It's all bullshit. Just to like, you know, go in with the show. And then he's like, I feel so grateful. La, 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 la. Sure you do, because at the same time, he's been texting Diana, who is me. I would love to take you out today, June 14th, and look at the time at the bottom. It's 2.52 p.m. You can read this on your own time. And yeah, we decided to go on a date, which is so disgusting. This man has been, this man is mentally ill. Motherfucker, if you're watching this, go to therapy, you bozo. We were talking and he actually received my messages and sees messages really well. And see, I'm so thankful that, you know, you came to me and you communicated your needs, which as an avoidant, I'm an avoidant. I hate love. I'm, I have trust issues, X, Y, Z. That's why I like guard my walls up. And understanding and having a big heart gets you no f because people will use you and abuse you. He told Diana, let's do wine at 8 p.m. He's a trip where he has to leave the country. And then he tells me, can you come over to my house at 10 p.m. for dinner? Do you want to fill up fill up the freaking blanks to why he's asking me to come over to his house at 10 p.m.? And leave it in the comments. I noticed what I was right away. A hot piece of ass, period. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna use this flower clip. Now me doing a full makeup tutorial. Where are you going, Ancy? Oh, it's not the story as anyone ended. <laughs> I wish you guys were like here live with me. Like freaking live. Um, telling me what what are what am i doing i, I this is the blush <laughs> burn pepper being my favorite the happiest love marriages that we know they end up in death or divorce so it's okay like it's okay like i'm gonna be fine you're gonna be fine we're all gonna be fine now dressed up as diana i do my makeup hair because it's a bar i'm gonna be there before him confront him as diana see how that goes so just got dressed this is my outfit or whatever <sighs> So he just texted me, I'll be there right around 8 p.m. as well. I'm heading out now and I'm 20 minutes away. And I love, this is what he texted me, saying he can't make it, he's busy packing. Love me a liar, love me a cheat or whatever. But I'm filming this genuinely not to ever put this person on blast. I don't get anything from doing that to people. It's for my, it's my journal. I wanna look back at this. Like I'm so young, I'm gonna look at this, look back at this and laugh because it hurts like a right now. So come with me, let's confront the cheater. I actually can't breathe. Like my heart's gonna explode in this little dress of mine that I have. I'm okay. I feel like talking about it and vlogging it is like I'm. I have like Lady and Dubaba next to me. That's what it felt like. like. I feel like I'm in Dubai and we're like, let's go, be fucking crazy. Chapter ending for me. Do you know what I'm saying? It's my villain story. Do you know what I'm saying? Love it. I feel actually confident, good, and empowered. I think I'm gonna fully barf. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used one of my friend's voice. I have not met her, she's a stranger, but she said yes to help me. She has no idea that was it's for me. Put on hold, 10 p.m. to your house. But yeah, I'm gonna go now to see him. I don't want him to see me. My car is the only red car here. Like the only red Tesla. Not even a Tesla, it's just a red car. The, the only person with a red car here and he's just gonna know. I, I don't want that to like stop. I wanna confront him, but he is colorblind and he can't see the color red, so. If God is on my side, I should be lucky to be able to just walk out and he doesn't see me. Okay, y'all, this is really funny. Um, I can't believe he fell from my friend's voice. This is when I say men are so stupid. He was in the parking lot with Diana and doing the whole, like, I don't know where I'm parking drama. I texted him saying, do you want to FaceTime me right now? And he says, ha ha, I'll text you in a little bit. I got my walking treadmill desk. This motherfucker is like, he's working on one of those running desks, y'all know. And I'm going to crank out some mindless content. Oh, really? The mindless content being Diana, which is me. You know what? I had a feeling that he kind of knew this was me. I don't know why. So I wanted to just fully make sure this plan works out. I make a friend of mine give me her voice. Hey, I reached. I'm here. I recorded that audio and I sent it to my iPad. Hey, I'm here. I just parked. But what's crazy is um, he's looking for parking. He has very bad luck with parking. He's going to look around. There was a time we went to a comedy club. We were looking for parking for 45 minutes and then we gave up and we went home. I'm telling you, men are just talk. I have never felt so foolish because for this woman that like, he's not even met, he's like, yeah, I'm looking for parking. I'll send you an Uber and pick you up. Oh. Fully hiding and ducking in because you don't know. You never know if he sees me. Oh, look what he said. Okay, okay. So I was parked at a spot and I moved my spot because you guys, I wasn't close enough. I need to like confront him i run into the car so i moved my car because i was parked really far away so i moved to a closer spot and i see him outside waiting he has like a bag with something in it 
is texting me right now as he's going to see this other woman which is insane to me yeah i saw him outside like you know looking at the, his own car and just being confused whether he needs to move it or not and he was very confused i don't know what that was and then he just texted diana saying i parked in a potentially illegal spot it turns out i'm moving to and i'm like okay so he's oh my god it's him it's him it's him it's him <gasps> that was him he like sped off that was him Oh my god, that was him. That was crazy. He just sped off. Like, I know his car because he has a dangling plate number. Wow, he's like driving right now and texting and hearting my message. This is amazing. I love men. Anyway, long story short, he's looking for parking. I don't know if I should... Oh, I wish you guys were like talking to me right now. Do I... Do I go in first and then surprise him? Do I... <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? He cheated on me anyway. So, f*** you, Ansi. Shut the f*** up and go. This is all fun and games. It's all funny as hell. And I'm just gonna walk over. this right now and I'm wondering where the engine sound is I'm like girl you got up and you left I swear to god this makes me look so bad I swear I drove off but I'm like where is the sound and I'm like ugh stop it this is a Tesla there is no engine period super smooth soft feminine car not me doing a Tesla ad but yeah there is no sound when the car starts but yeah I drove off that was actually pretty good i read on the internet narcissistic abuse how to deal with a narcissist person what well, xyz and every, it, it all just came to one thing and that was oh you don't you don't like i had these essays you know i had these essays that i wanted to write um oh i need to block him sorry give me one second you guys oh my god he was so stupid you guys he was so stupid and on the dating app he's mentioned i just saw ansi despite having been single for weeks you guys this is me i'm on the app if you did not get what just happened i'm gonna say it again in the most slowest speed possible i've never talked this slow in my life but i want you to understand how stupid one is he still did not understand that ansi and diana are the same people he thinks that i ansi just bumped into him randomly at that wine bar at the exact time that he was in and i was there for like an event not knowing i was actually freaking diana so he still tried to shoot his shot with diana by saying i actually don't know who ansi is i've been single all my life right after i confronted him it still did not click um, everybody on Reddit said this too. I was reading about people's story times of like, oh, he matched with this girl. Like, what do I do? And they were like, just show up. Like, make a profile, pretend to be her and just show up. Somebody else actually responded to that. They were like, don't do that because they're just going to deny it. Like, you can literally show them that you, you caught them in a lie and they're just going to be like, that's not true. I literally just caught you in a lie. He told me we are not single. We are dating. And then boom, bada bang, bada bang, bada bang. He tells Diana, who's me. I've been single for so many weeks. That was so weird. <laughs> I love making men feel miserable and ugly and I feel actually powerful if I want to say so myself like yeah was I crying was I teary-eyed I just saw him I just met him I said nothing I looked at him just smiles you guys and outside in front of people because narcissists they're only scared of like the law they don't they're not scared of you or anyone else they don't care about you but the law in front of everybody like if you contact me cops i will call the cops there is like some recording of me walking away from him i even have it in voice recording so if he ever comes to me harasses me whatever um i'm not afraid i'm not afraid of anything or him or anything like that i'm not scared of cheating bastards but this was amazing i had to like you know release this let this go i actually feel powerful if you haven't confronted with your man you should do it Actually, I just honked. Oh my god, I feel so bad that I honked. But I just honked, so my Tesla must have... It, it records everything in the past 10 minutes. You probably can see him, like, you know, walking or being next to my car. But I recorded all of that, so I know. I feel gaslit. I literally just caught him cheating, you guys. And he's literally texting me. 
you're so disgusting. I thought we were gonna make things better and I'm gonna see you at 10 p.m. and we're gonna be together again. What? Anyway, I'm having a good night. I promise you, do not worry about me. I feel actually f***ing excellent. I'm gonna listen to some Lil Wayne, some Nicki Minaj. You know, they, they, they are the OG artists when you are going through a breakup. I don't care what anyone says. So I have to go attend to my little daughter, Butter. She's waiting for me impatiently. I know her little whining and her manipulative cries. So I'm gonna go. I just wanna say I'm very f***ing grateful I got out of a narcissistic relationship in three months, four, five, eight. I don't even know. Consuming me for so long. And I'm gonna be back. Old Auntie's back. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. This is the funniest thing ever. Subscribe, like for more unhinged content. Um, but that's the end of the worst reviewed breakup. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>